What's up YouTube, I'm Joe, you're watching my channel Ink and Iron. Back today with a few multi-tools that I want to talk about just because they're leaving my collection. Just want to go over them and uh, why I am getting rid of them. Need some space in the collection. So, first up, maybe controversial, but the Leatherman Free P4. I've had a lot of problems with these pliers over the years. Um, I actually just got this back from warranty, sent the plier heads in. Um, for warranty because they were all chewed up from holding on to uh, hardened screws and bolts um, You know I was doing some wire brush wheel work and uh, they got chewed up so I sent them in got some brand new plier heads and You know I've sent this tool in for warranty several times. So all the tools look pretty much new and um, Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of carrying this thing just because the tool set is not what I need um, you know, too many flatheads. There's one here. The Phillips is okay. The bottle opener is okay. But then the other side, I mean, literally a flathead, a flathead, a flathead, a little tiny file that I don't like, a depth gauge I don't use, an awl that sucks as an awl, and the can opener is actually okay. Um, but yeah, like the external tools, they're great. Two knives, like them. Serrated blade's great. Scissors are okay. They're not the best. I like the surge ones more. Um, the saw I never really used because I don't really use a saw. I know that's controversial in and of itself, but I'm in an urban environment and I'm not out here cutting tree branches, you know, away from a, a power outlet. Um, so yeah, I don't really need a saw. The pocket clip is good. The aesthetics overall are good. And I really do like the magnetic architecture. I find it uh, a lot of fun to, uh, you know, mess with. You can flip the tool open one handed. That's nice. Um, but the plier head shortcomings have been an issue for me. The tool set's just pretty weak. And uh, these things are still pretty valuable right now, so I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, it's already on eBay. It's going to sell today, so you're out of luck in terms of, uh, you know, getting there to buy it yourself. But, you know, that's just how it goes. Um, we'll be going with its gray sheath. All right, next up, SOG. This is the Power Access Deluxe. Um, this tool also got sent to warranty because the knife blade literally failed. It was like one of the first tasks I did with this thing. And what happened was I went to cut a cardboard box, literally the tape on a cardboard box. I went to, to cut it and the blade literally bent back to this angle because the lock just totally, totally failed on it. Um, so yeah, they sent me a new tool and I gotta say the fit and finish and the feel of this tool is just not as good as its competitors. They really aren't. The plier heads are honestly the best part. Uh, I do like that compound leverage, although it makes your handles splay twice as far in order to get the same amount of uh, jaw opening. So that's kind of a minor disadvantage there. Um, but yeah, in terms of ease of cutting, these are the easiest pliers to cut with. Um, but yeah, this tool's kind of big. Um, it's kind of bulky. The tools, you know, you can see they clump together in a weird way. Um, it's just not ideal. Like, look, every, everything pulls on everything else. I don't really like that aspect. The tool set is pretty good. You mean full dimension Phillips, little micro drivers. But yeah, just, just the, the feel of it is not good. Um, it discourages me from carrying it. Uh, the knife blade failure was was an issue that, that really, you know, got me suspicious about this tool. There's no pocket clip, it's sheath carry only, um, but it does come with a pretty decent driver set. So, you know, if you're into drivers, this is a pretty good tool. It even locks out at 90 degrees for more torque. Um, and, you know, if a, not having a pocket clip isn't an issue for you, then this is okay. But for me... Um, with the other tools I've collected, I mean, you put this next to a Swiss tool and there's just, there's no comparison. So yeah, SOG, Power Access Deluxe, getting out of here. Next up, getting out of here, also on eBay right now is my Gerber Center Drive. I know a lot of people are a huge fan of this tool. I never really dug it. Um, you know, the one hand opening is pretty cool, although your fingers really have to be like in the perfect spot to get the mechanism to work right. So takes a little bit of finesse, uh, which you do learn pretty quickly. Uh, I did take a brass breast brush to this finish and uh, it picked up a lot of like dark bronze color. It's kind of cool, but no one, no one seems to be talking about that besides me. <laughs> so I'm not sure why it picked up so much of this bronze color. It has a great file 
Uh, I am kind of a fan of this little pry tool because it's a dedicated pry tool and it's super thick, which is the way it should be. Also a decent bottle opener. It is not a can opener. I've, I've proven this in my can opener video. Uh, the awl is pretty good and it's not, you know, making any concessions to try and stitch anything. Uh, the serrated blade, a little bit sketchy on this actually, because it doesn't open super easily. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not bad. Uh, the lock mechanism is pretty good. Spring loaded is kind of nice, although these tungsten carbide cutters break on pretty much everybody that I've seen, so I haven't actually tested mine. And I don't plan to because this tool is being sold. Um, the center drive aspect of it is okay. You can see there's still some, you know, wiggle here in the mechanism. Um, this is not a comfortable screwdriver handle by any means. There's all kinds of knobs and, and you know, corners and stuff. It's, it doesn't feel great. Um, yeah, so, you know, the, the main feature being the center drive and the sliding pliers, you know, didn't really speak to me. So the rest of the tool didn't speak to me so much either. I like that you can store an extra bit. That's pretty neat. Um, and the knife blade's pretty good, although mine does not open easily at all does not open easily at all and discourages me from using it for that reason. So, uh, yeah, for me, not so much. Um, did come with a bit set, which is pretty nice, especially given that you have that big long driver on there. So, you know, if driving and one-handed opening are your thing, this is your thing, but it's not for me. Next up, you know what, let's go with this one. Save this for the end. Next up, Roxon Storm S801S. This is a weird, uh, Chinese, Chinese, Taiwanese, I don't know, overseas made multi-tool. Um, it's clickety clackety. Uh, it's kind of cheaply made. It kind of fakes out having replaceable cutters. Um, the ruler's not super useful. It does have very interesting scissors on here. Um, it's a bit fiddly to try and get to them, but they are nice and long. They're not heavy duty though. They won't cut like, you know, leather or anything like that. Um, what else? It's got a corkscrew I never use. Uh, the bottle opener, however, right here is very nice. Um, you can see that in my bottle opener video. Uh, the file uh, never really came in handy. Uh, it's kind of short. It doesn't lock out. It's just a slip joint, so not, not my favorite. Uh, what else is on here? A saw, which I never use because I never use a saw in general. Uh, we have these weird side tools. This is like a, a little cutter here. Uh, oh god, they're so hard to get out. They really are. Um, this is an awl. It's kind of a joke. I mean, look at the tip of that thing. It's rounded over. It does have a hole, so supposedly you could stitch with it, but I, I doubt it. I've never tried it because it's it doesn't poke into anything to begin with. Can opener sucks. I've tried that. Check out my can opener video. The knife blade, actually decent. It does lock up on its own. Um... What else? Oh, there is a almost hidden feature in here, and it does require nails to really dig it out of here. But uh, yeah, check this out. There's an inline driver, and this is probably the best feature on this tool because it comes with this little extension adapter, and you can fit other bits in there now. So yeah, probably the strongest feature on this tool besides the scissors, but like I said, the scissors are kind of light duty. Um, yeah, the driver even locks up, so... That's, that's pretty cool. The glass breaker, totally useless. I don't know who's using a glass breaker all the time on their multi-tool, to be honest. If you do, drop me a comment, but, um, you know, I feel like most of you aren't doing that. And then it is sheath carry only. Uh, I really miss having a pocket clip on this. So that's the Roxxon S801S Storm. It's getting out of here. It's on eBay already. And then surprisingly, um, I am putting this up for sale. I have it up for sale right now. Uh, the Victorinox uh, Swiss Tool Spirit X. This is the original version. The only reason I'm putting it up for sale is because I have ba -ba -da -ba, the MX version. Comes with a pocket clip and a one hand opening blade. Um, yeah, that's, that's literally the only difference between these tools. Um, I think the external tools are configured slightly differently to allow for that one handed opening. Uh, but man, this is an absolutely killer tool set. Um, really, the only reason I'm getting rid of it is because I have the upgraded or, you know, kind of a lateral move tool that I like just that little bit more because of the pocket clip and the one-handed blade. Um, but literally every tool on here comes in handy. Jeez, uh, there, there's not much I can say bad about this tool. I wish the steel were a little better on the knife. 
um, and it does fingerprint up really readily. So, you know, have that polishing cloth handy. Uh, but yeah, the Swiss Tool Spirit X uh, basic version, it's a really fantastic tool. I, uh, I highly recommend it, actually. And the only reason I'm getting rid of it is so that, uh, you know, I already, I already have one, basically, and this is just taking up room in the collection. So, yeah, can't, can't say much bad about it. Um, really good set of drivers, the can opener, um, little package opener, the knife is good, the uh, saw is good, I have used it. This one took a little bit of wear and tear from some wood glue, actually, a little bit of corrosion on there. The fully dimensioned Phillips is fantastic, I love that. The can opener is good, I have tried it, check out my video. Uh, the file is really good, along with the metal saw on the lower portion there. Um, this is a fine driver. It's, it's, it's not my most used tool, I'm not going to lie. Um, and the scissors are good, although they do have that tiny little jaw opening, which is weird, because most Victorinox have, you know, the, the ones we're familiar with here, and that are on the larger version of the Swiss tool, are these, right? These big old ones. I don't know where these came from really, um, but that's what you get on the Spirit X models, strangely enough. Okay, and that's that. Let me polish this up because it's going to go in this nice leather sheath. Um, yeah, my only downside for this was that it didn't have a pocket clip, so once I got the clip version, this one could get out of here. All right, and uh, if you think I'm getting rid of tools and not getting any new ones, you're wrong. I've got a video coming up about this guy. Leatherman uh, Juice. Yeah, this is highly collectible now. So yeah, that's uh, that's been a little summary of the tools I'm getting rid of. Just lightening up the load a little bit in the collection, trying to get a little more focused on the tools that I actually like and use all the time. You know, I got a Leatherman Wave waiting in the wings, uh, Ozark Trail Multiforce. I got all kinds of stuff, as well as uh, fountain pens, knives, typewriters. I do a lot here on my vlog. So if you're interested, stick around, like, sub, do the things, and I'll catch you on the next one. All right, bye.